Econo Swiss， 我曾經九十年代咧非常留意呢個品牌嘅。早排咧 ，Econo Swiss 嘅 CEO Oliver 先生咧嚟咗香港，我當然要捉住佢嚟我節目，同大家分享傾下佢呢個獨立製表品牌啊。對 Econo Swiss 嘅記憶咧，要從一隻我後悔冇買到嘅手錶開始講起。喺九十年代嘅時候咧，我就對佢一個款嘅手錶叫 Delphus 咧，就好有感覺。佢就係一個 regulator style 嘅顯示，就係、是、將時分針咧係分開顯示 ，hour 咧係用上 jumping hour 嘅方式去表示，分針咧係用咗 retrograde 非反嘅分針，獨立嘅小錶盤喺六點鐘位置咧，係將三者完全係分開咗。因為嗰陣時能夠出咁嘅佈局嘅錶咧。真係好少，再加埋咧，佢個價錢咧都好 competitive 嘅。其實每一次都幾乎咧，銀荷包去買，彈跌咗好耐嘅。好似啲真係仲要花咧買唔買買唔買，就因為佢嘅機芯唔係 in house。因為我自己嘅所謂嘅收藏咧，嚇無論係貴平都好咧，都係品牌自家機芯嘅。咁所以到最後咧，結果係冇買到。We choose this watch for making the 40th anniversary. Oh, because that one is very iconic yeah, model, and when when people see something like that, it will remind them of Connor Swiss. Oliver 話俾我知 ，Connor Swiss 咧今年會推出慶祝品牌四十週年紀念錶款 Delphus Oracle， 就係以九十年代 Delphus 為設計藍本。保留經典嘅 jumping hour 非凡嘅分針小秒針盤標盤佈局咧係好獨特，標盤咧用上手工打造嘅 gauge， 再喺立體挑花圖案上鋪上七層珐琅，亦都用上咗全新嘅 manufacturing movement。咁啊，成個標嘅 size 係四十二，個 power reserve 咧有五十五個鐘頭。Conor Swiss 喺一九八三年由 Mr. Lang 朗恩先生創立嘅。呢位傑出嘅鐘錶大師為錶界咧帶嚟咗好多耳目一新嘅腕錶設計。零八年咧，品牌由瑞士家族企業 e p s t e i n 收購咗。Oliver 本身咧係冇任何鐘錶背景嘅，接過 Conor Swiss 呢個品牌，究竟係種緣分咧，定係命運嘅安排咧 ？I was working originally in in pharmaceuticals. I was always a, a, a big fan of watches.、Mm-hmm. Since my childhood, that's what has been our discussion at a dinner table. We discussed watches. We were small、uh, collectors of watches as well.、Um, and my father was working in、um, fashion and jewelry,、mm-hmm. so、um, evident that I went to Basel, that I was、uh, taking back home my my catalogs, etc., for watches, dreaming about watches. I, I knew the brand for a long time, so、uh, I had my first Regulator, my first Opus, so I was a big fan of the brand. And、um, I, I was introduced at Munich time to to、uh, to Gelb,、uh, and he said he was looking for succession planning. His daughter didn't want to take over, and he wants to have the brand going to family. So he didn't want to sell it to a big conglomerate where he didn't know what's going to happen in terms of the brand heritage and the DNA, etc. But at that time, you always show your、uh, interest in buying his business or not. No, after, <laughs> after, so after, after many hours of talking watches、okay. and philosophy, etc., at the end he told me, "Listen, anyway,、uh, you know that I'm, I'm going to sell my company." He told me at the, at the end of our discussion this one evening、oh. at Munich time.、Yeah. He, li- he likes you, and then say, say to you, "Hey, why don't you buy my company?" Exactly. And then we had a couple of months to to go back and forward, and then、uh, it was Basel 2011. Where we officially announced that he hands over the key. Conno Swiss 呢個品牌當時候咧就誒都幾強調佢嘅 manufacture 咧喺 Munich。Munich 即係德國啦。咁你知我本人對德國都有好有感覺。不過咧，我心中一直有個疑問：到底 Conno Swiss 呢個品牌係德國啊，還是瑞士嘅？而今次咧，終於有機會啦！可以請教到 Oliver 啦。After you took over, so everything made in Switzerland. Everything in Switzerland, yeah. Before that, the Conno Swiss manufacturer based in Munich. Should I see Conno Swiss as a German brand or Swiss brand? I always saw it as a as a Swiss brand、yeah. because it's Chrono Swiss. 
And I knew that uh, many, well, all the parts, the most things have been produced in Switzerland, but it has been assembled in Germany. Mm -hmm. Also because of logistics reasons, you know, EU, etc. Mm -hmm. So uh, sending it from, from uh, Germany to the EU, it's easier than from Switzerland. Sure. Mr. Lang has been German, but he has been trained in Switzerland and he has been started in Switzerland. And today, to make it easy, everything produced in Switzerland, yes. Uh, make it easy. Make it easy, yeah, true. 从一个品牌嘅 fans 到品牌嘅 CEO Oliver 系点样睇呢个品牌嘅传统，又点样为佢咧注入咗新嘅生命力咧 ？Now you are the new boss, the new owner. What do you see? You know,、um, the strength of your brand. Well, the strength definitely is that it has a long history in terms of of design elements, the, the onion crown. The nerd bezel, the straight lugs. I think this is a part of the, the, the design package that you get. In the past, this was very well taken care of. You know, always polished, etc. So these are the. It, it's like a very nice red fine line that guides you through the history and to the future of Chrono Swiss and the way it looks like. And more than mechanical, is kind of a, a slogan or tagline for the brand. What's the meaning behind it? Because when I look at your watch, you still have a lot of traditional skill like grillage, enamel. It's all the old technique. It's combining these two worlds: traditional handicraft with state-of-the-art technology. We conserve it also. We 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 educate and train young people on on doing the EMI and the guilloche. And then at the same time.、Um, I, I have partners、uh, in the medtech technology who does、uh, new coatings. The Jupiter, probably one of the most complicated watches we have ever done in terms of the dial,、mm -hmm. where we have uh, this uh, special 17 layers of nano printing colors onto the dial. And if you apply a normal color by by nano printing or by、uh, putting a lacquer. You will fill up the valleys, so the end will be a flat dial. So we found、um, a partner who was able to print the color in three dimensions to keep up the, the valleys and the mountains.、Uh, these are technologies that are very state of the art, very modern. So the combination of both, I think, works for Chrono Swiss. 喜欢科技创新嘅 Oliver 唔单止标款嘅设计上咧拥抱科技。I read articles saying that you opened a boutique in the metal, metal,、mm -hmm. metalverse. You're, you're well informed.、Oh. <laughs> Why?、Uh, I, I like new technologies.、Mm -hmm. The same as as with our watches, when we try new technologies、uh, mm -hmm. and apply it to the watches.、Mm -hmm. And I think、uh, the environment is changing quite a lot today.、Mm -hmm. So、um, it, it's a chance you're taking. So we said together. The team was highly motivated. Yes, let's do the first boutique in the metaverse. So、uh, we we bought some some land. We created the the, the Chrono Swiss House of Switzerland into the metaverse,、um, and、uh, we do attract also people there. It, it's not about selling watches there, but it's about showing people that we are up to date in what we're doing.、Oh, which means you're using it as a kind of marketing tools, not a, not for sales. You, you can buy,、mm -hmm. so you can go into our metaverse and you can buy certain watches. You can look at them, you can look at the videos, etc.、Um, but、uh, it was a combination of marketing, seeing how this attracts people, and you have a lot of young people. They run around in the metaverse. But is there any contradiction? Because when we're talking about luxury, Chrono Swiss is a luxury watch. People like to feel and touch. And most of the time, we need people, you know, to talk about that. But when you put everything in that metaverse, it's kind of a. Do you see any contradiction? Just a different channel for the very young people seeing a brand. That's how you attract people、uh, about your name, about your products. And once they see it, they make a first approach. For me, luxury is also. About having something exclusive.、Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you if you buy something and, and the, another ten thousand people have it, it's not the same as you know. I'm one of fifty who have this watch. 
What is the capacity of Conor Swiss today? A around 1,500, 1,500. We are niche brand, so if we produce 5,000 watches, we're not a niche brand anymore. So you, you want to make sure what you produce, you can also sell. And, uh, and it stays exclusive. So this combination for us works best. If you want to play a product, you want to be able to play a product. 我覺得Conor Swiss 是一個不錯的選擇